Metropolis, for some reason or other, is kind of an encyclopedia of what was in the air in the 1920s in Berlin. You know, like every style of directing, every style of acting, every decor is in this picture. Metropolis premiered at the Zoo Palast. Uh, actually, it was then called the Ufa Palast am Zoo, and it was a different building from the one that is now across the street from here. That's next door to the Langbau. With all his premiers, uh, Metropolis, uh, The Man and the Woman in the Moon, and the Nibelungen, all the famous films have been shown over there. The Langbau is actually named after Fritz Lang. The Lang was Austrian. He came from Vienna after the First World War and started to work in the film industry in Berlin. I think most people think of him as a German director from the 1920s or a film noir director from the 1940s. Fritz Lang worked in the 20s and uh, 30s here and our cocktails are from this time period. I heard that he liked martinis a lot. <laughs> I was involved personally in, in the restoration of a couple of long films, Metropolis being one. The film was not the big success they had expected to be. The film was abridged and altered against Lang's will actually very soon after the first release. That's why the restorations were always attempted. The version in Munich put it all together with the music. Music is very important because it gives you the time frame of everything that happens in the film, and that of course revealed about 30 minutes of the film we're missing. When the footage was found, it made the world news, and you find out it's a completely different film. It's not a science fiction film. It's a film about the world, um, about our world, actually. And that is also why the film is still so popular. It's a story that we can immediately relate to. As Metropolis took about 80 years to finish, and I was only the last person to put my hands on it. So it is actually a work of many, many decades sometimes and many generations of people who work on it. And every time it became a little more complete and there, were more, there was more knowledge about the film and what had been done to it. The restoration made it possible for new people to see this film. And hundreds of thousands of people have seen it since. This kind of landmark film puts the question of restoration and film history, what is film history and what do we have to do to preserve it, on the table. <laughs>